Hi, I'm Rick Sellens, and in 2021, we're changing the focus of MEC 217 to zero in on the microcontroller we're using and how you're going to program it. Our main focus in MEC 217 is going to be a loop function in our microcontroller code. We're going to come back to this focus multiple times throughout the course to remind you of the context. Before we can run that loop function over and over again, we need a setup function to initialize any hardware and just generally set up our code. But once we've set everything up, we can then get to the meat of the course, which is to measure and convert uh, values from the real world, analyze those results to draw some conclusions. Based on those conclusions, take some action to control what's going on in the real world. And finally, somehow report or display the results of those measurements and actions so that the uh, human user can see what's going on. All of this is going to happen with the C programming language, which we're going to access through the Arduino IDE. There's all sorts of stuff that we can measure from the real world, large and small resistances, small voltages, digital sensors, and digital inputs. And initially, we're going to just concentrate on measuring stuff and providing output to the uh, monitor on our computer. But later on, we might look at de dedicated display panels or some indicator lights. Action and control. One of the simplest things we can do is we can put a 3.3 volt uh, voltage back out from our microcontroller to control what goes on in the real world. We've also got the opportunity for pulse width modulation for motor speed and such, or just simple digital uh, outputs, on-off outputs, or things that we can do with serial. That real-world feedback is the key thing that's going to change what's going on out in the real world and change what we measure so that it, when we go around the loop the next time, we'll see something different. The kind of analysis that we do will derive quantities from our raw measurements and we'll need to look at the history of those measurements to know how things are changing with time. Also, from our measurements, we can make some estimates of accuracy or uncertainty in those measurements that'll help us make our decisions. Although our microcontroller systems will stand alone once they're working, when we're debugging, we'll use bench instruments like a multimeter or an oscilloscope to keep track of what's going on with our electrical circuits. To help focus on our coding, we can take a testing shortcut by taking the analog output from the digital to analog converter and putting it right back into our measurements from the analog to digital converter so that we know what we should be measuring and we can test our software. We will concentrate on mastering these tasks so that you can succeed in MEC 217 and more importantly so that you can carry those skills forward to MEC 210, MEC 310 and MEC 350 where you'll use these skills as well.